What's going on today guys, Tomcat here, and welcome to part 2 of our realistic towing series with the Dodge Ram, the White Ram, and the, uh, basically, our two axle trailer, and we've got a, uh, like, basically a 6x6, six six, uh, it, like, it's like a 6x6 six six quad bike thing, um, and then we've got a normal quad bike behind it, and we're about halfway through our journey, I'll show you guys where we're at on the map right now, and basically, we are, sorry if I'm sound like I'm a bit, a uh, bit under the weather, I'm not, I'm not like too bad, I'm just getting over something right now, but, uh, we're gonna go ahead and make a right right here, we're about halfway through, like I said, we're going all the way up to the objective, but we're taking an, an interesting route, a little bit of a different route than normal, we're making a right here, making a left, then making another left, winding around the base of the waterfall right here, and then, um, and then, we're gonna head up around the, uh, basically up around through the, through the, lack of a better term, ocean, and, uh, and then to the objective, hopefully, that's the, uh, that's the plan, and, uh, I don't think, I don't think we'll run in, into any trouble on the way there, to be honest, I, there's not really any trouble to run into, unless you start acting <laughs> like a fool, but, um, oh god, that's gonna be, need to take a little bit of a wide turn here, but, I'll get around, no problem, there you go, there she is, so this truck's a little bit of a big girl, but it's not too, uh, it's not too crazy. Um, it, the, having the trailer behind it, you could definitely see the suspension actually works pretty well with the trailer. It's not, it's not, like, out of its element with this trailer. Uh, some trucks and spin tires are really out of their element with a trailer, but this one's not so much. This one actually, uh, it feels like it was set up to have a trailer behind it, which is really good. I mean, if you're going to have a truck, especially a, tr a truck like this, it needs to be able to tow a trailer. It needs to be able to tow a trailer. It needs to be able to haul toys like that behind it. I mean, that's what this truck is for. That's what it's for, is hauling, you know, hauling off-road toys out into the wilderness, hauling your rock crawler, hauling um, hauling your side-by-side, -side, hauling your ATVs, so you're hauling multiple ATVs. It's for hauling your vehicles that you use to go have fun in. And, uh, and if the vehicle you can use to tow... The vehicles you used to have fun in is fun as well. I don't know if that sentence made sense or not, but uh, but then it's a win-win. So, anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and check again on the map to make sure of where we're at. Let's see. Okay, we're making a left. Yeah, we're making a left here, and then we're gonna make another left after that. It'll be a really sharp left, like a super sharp left. Now, I'm actually when this video is being recorded, you guys will probably see this particular video on either. Uh, this is part two of the series, of this little mini-series, so you'll see it either Saturday or Sunday. Probably this one on Sunday, because you will have seen the first one on Saturday. And if you're watching this on Sunday, then chances are I will be with my friend uh, off-roading in his Jeep. My Jeep is actually broken at the moment. My Jeep has a... we're not sure if the front axle is completely broken. We're not sure if we broke the front diff, or if we broke the... Um, or if we, we don't think we broke the transfer case because the front drive shaft is spinning. We're just not getting any engagement from the front axle. So we're going to pull the front, uh, pull the diff cover off and see if we sheared the gears off the, um, off the ring and pinion. I don't think we did, but uh, hopefully, we, hopefully we didn't. Oh, just fingers crossed that we didn't. Uh, but what we're going to do, like I said, is we're going to be riding passenger with a friend of mine in his, uh, basically, actually, my old CJ5 that I had, I sold it to him. And then I bought my XJ, and then I, I broke my XJ. <laughs> um, and uh, the whole tire situation, people have been, have started to get their Pitbull tires in now. So hopefully, my Pitbulls will be coming in soon. That's the, that's the hope, is that finally my Pitbulls will be coming in soon. But uh, regardless of that, they, um, his, the, the CJ that I sold to him uh, was basically my old CJ that I bought, and I didn't really end up wanting to take that project the way I originally planned. Uh, it, it ended up not being the right Jeep for me. Um, it ended up not really being what I was going for in a build, and an XJ ended up suiting me a lot better. Just style-wise and kind of what I wanted to do with it, it just suited my plan and my application a whole lot more. And so, with that being said, he did a spring-over axle kit on the CJ. He put power steering on it. He also put power brakes on it so it can support the 
35 1450s that he put on it. They're freaking massive, dude. The thing, I mean, any CJ on 35s is big, but a CJ on 35 1450s is a damn steamroller. So I cannot wait to see how that thing performs uh, in an actual off-road environment. It's never been off-road in that spec before. He just finished the build, and this is going to be our initial off-road run with it so i'm very excited to see we haven't taken it to any parks yet or anything like that this is just like we're just gonna take it to some trails and have a good time and and see what it's uh see what it's made of so i'm really excited to uh to see how that goes down and are we on the right track yes we are it's gonna need to make a right right up here and we will be good to go probably gonna want to put it in low three for this section i think low three is gonna be where I'll leave it for uh, anything that's got fallen trees, anything that's got mud, just you may as well. You really may as well leave it in low three, uh, because to be honest, low three, I mean, there's not really that much that can stand in your way unless the truck and trailer start to sink at the same time, which in that case, it starts to become a bit of a, you know, you start to need winch help and you start to need you know some other stuff but anything that you can drive out of you should be able to drive out of in low three maybe low two low one is pushing it especially when you're towing a trailer you're not really going to move in low one just make sure i'm going the right way which i am and uh like i said though as long as you're in low three or low two occasionally then you'll be 100 percent fine 100 percent good to go and uh like no worries about grip whatsoever now, moving on to... God, we need to adjust the time of day. Like, dude, what up? Yes, thank you. Much better. Much better. Yeah, dude, everything, like, even looks better. So, I talked a little bit about this in the previous episode, and if you guys watched that, you will have seen. But if you haven't seen the previous episode, go back and watch it, and you'll hear some of the specifics I where I talk about... Uh, the Spin Tires live show that's coming soon. I've been doing a Forza live show uh, recently, a live stream live show. I like to call them live shows because they're, it's, a, it's literally, it's a show. It's online, but it's a show where I interact with my audience. I get to act, interact with you guys live, and um, that's why I like to call it, like, the TC live show. But um, the live show is going to be moving into Spin Tires very soon. Um, I've got the PC live streaming side almost completely down and almost completely ready to go. And uh, I just need to get a couple of things figured out with it. And then once we get those couple of things figured out, we'll have PC streaming uh, down pat and good to go. We just got to get it to where, like, I know exactly what's going on and I need to figure out how I'm going to monitor it really well. Because my laptop, I was originally going to have my laptop propped up and then live stream on my, on my main PC. Uh, but my laptop, for some reason, I started having some internet connectivity issues where it literally just does not want to connect whatsoever uh, to anybody's internet, no matter where it's here, at my friend's house, at my parents' house, it's just like, no, bruh, internet is not for me. Um, and I know it's not a virus because there's nothing on the computer. I've checked the computer uh, loads of times and there's, not, there's nothing on it, so it's not a virus. And it's not a, um, it's got to be a, either a hardware issue, like the internal, um, the internal wireless card may have taken a poop or... Um, or something else may have gone wrong internally hardware wise, but regardless, I think I'm going to take it to somebody that specializes in that kind of thing and see what they can figure out because I'm kind of like, I, I've, I've done as much as I can do with that computer for right now. Um, I've, I've figured out as much as I can kind of figure out with it. Um, I've even, you know, done some troubleshooting from forums and, you know, things that people recommend and it still didn't work. So I was like, okay, I think I'm going to find somebody that knows what they're doing. We're going to take it to them and we're going to see what we can figure out. Now, uh, this is where winches come into play. Thankfully, you can winch to fallen trees, which wouldn't work in real life because you would just pull the tree closer to you rather than pulling yourself up the hill. I mean, really, it's, it's just... Fallen trees are not stationary. That's the only thing that's weird about spin tires is that these fallen trees, unless you push them, they stay in one spot. Because you can hit, hitch up a winch and, and they'll pull just fine. Like, you will pull... Uh, you'll, like, the tree will stay in one spot, and you can pull yourself closer to it with a truck. Whereas, in real life, if you try to do that, you would literally just reel in the log. Unless it was, like, a massive one that was, you know, twice as heavy as your truck, which is gonna be kind of rare unless you're, you know, unless you're in, like, the woods of Canada, where all the trees are the size of, you know, the Empire State Building, which... <laughs> Nice torque getting up the hill. This truck really has a good setup for towing. Even if you throw it in automatic mode, 
Still shifts just fine, shifts right up into fourth, going up a hill. Uh, the automatic gearbox in this thing really feels like it was almost pre-set up to be towed with. Because it's a little jumpy when you're just driving it without a trailer. But when you're towing and you got some weight on the trailer, it feels awesome. So it really feels like it was set up for that. And I think that's like the coolest thing that they set it up for that. So, um, are we ready? Time to venture through the water. Let's give it a go. Put it high and then back into automatic so we don't have to like fiddle around with the automatic trying to shift up through gears. So we can just leave it in high and just like lay the power to it. Uh oh. Starting to get a little deep. Changed down to third. Getting a little bit of water damage. It doesn't really matter because I've got damage off, but uh oh. It changed down to first and I'm starting to be pushed by the current. That's not good. We're still making some progress though. Our dude's like covering his head. The guy on the quad is just like me. He's like, bruh. Well, what's the big deal? I'm good, man. I'm fine. No worries here. <laughs> Dude, we've even got our own redneck swimming pool in the back. That's awesome. <laughs> we making any headway? We're making a little bit. But it's... Well, we're kind of stuck, actually. Put it in low three, see what it'll do. Looks like it may be moving now. Oh, yeah, she's moving. She's moving, guys. Come on. Come on. You're so close to finding some traction. Problem is that the ah, the current's pushing us. The only thing we can do is steer into the current and hope that it allows us to kind of scoot the truck in the proper direction. Maybe if we drop down to, like, low one? No way! Holy hell, low one works! Dude, low one usually doesn't work with a trailer, but this thing, I guess, has enough torque to make it work. Yeah, we're moving! Hell yes, we are moving! Come on, come on, Dodge. Come on, Dodge, I know you've got this. I know you've got this, you're so close. Oh my god, you're so close! Dude, it is so close to the freaking edge. Well, not really close yet, but it's getting closer to, uh, to actual ground, you know what I mean? So close, man. It's gotta, it's, oh, it's gotta get there. It's gotta get there. There she goes, there she goes, there she goes. Yes, yes. That's like at the bottom of low three, and we've started to get grip. Uh, the truck's starting to come up out of the water now, so we made it through the bad part. God, we almost, we, the, we almost went for a hell of a swim right there. Uh-oh, starting to get a little bit deep again. But no, it flattens out. Whew! Alright, man. This, that was sketchy. That was super sketchy. This is the only part that I would consider slightly unrealistic, because, like, if your water's above the hood, your turbo's gonna be sucking in water, and especially in a diesel, that's gonna... That is literally gonna hydrolock your engine in no time at all. Uh, diesels hate water so much. It's literally, literally the worst thing for a diesel is water. It's literally, like, you can't even find anything, anything more that's worse for a diesel than to get water inside of it. It's just so bad. If you can avoid it at all costs, avoid it. But at this point, we've pretty much passed the worst part. So right now, it seems like it should be a uh, pretty simple little cruise to the, uh, to the objective. And we'll have made our delivery of uh, some ATVs. Which I'm totally cool with, dude. I'm like, hell yeah, that is awesome. Just follow this. No! No! Don't lose your power! Come on! Come on, Dodge! Come on! Don't lose your power now! God, we're way too close. I was about to be like, dude, that is depressing. Don't let that happen. Should we bypass this? Should we be like, screw it? Eh, screw it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> dude, not even a problem. Oh, we just walked that. We walked that crap, dude, like it was nothing. Powering out and high. Oh yeah, this thing, 
She's a beast. God, that little quad on the back almost flew off. But yeah, she is a beast. The quads have been delivered, and they are ready to get loaded on the boat. So, hope you guys enjoyed this little mini-series. If you did, uh, that's a lie. My truck is carrying load. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this little mini-series, don't forget to hit that like button. More realistic missions will be coming very soon in Spin Tires. Um, and if you guys like this concept, make sure you let me know in the comments below. Also, if you're excited for Spin Tires live, stre live streams, let me know by putting a hashtag Spin Tires Live in the comments below. But anyways, guys, I will see you later, and talk to you guys in the next one.